blog, Jupiter Gym's marketing team. And before we get started, I would like to suggest that you, if you want to get this free book, and if you would like to get the video tutorials that I create the next day after I create them immediately into your email inbox, why don't you just put your name here and your email address there and then you will subscribe to my blog and you'll get all this stuff for free. Right now I do about one or two blog posts per week and uh, you will also get a SEO manual, a blog report, SEO videos, all kinds of cool stuff. Okay, I'm going to look at this blog post right here. It's called I Got 50,000 Video Views on My YouTube Channel. This is within an H1 tag. So this video, obviously, I'm going to teach you about H1, H2, and H3 tags and why we use them in the blog post. I'm going to scroll down. You can see why I create. That's an H2 tag. This is also an H2 tag. And that's right here is an H2 tag. And if nothing else, you can see it breaks the text up and makes it easier to read. It also helps you with your out with your SEO for your blog post. Now what I'm going to do is click on this tab right here. This brings me to my demonstration blog. And I'm just going to show you three posts that are exactly the same with and without the H2 tags. Okay, so you've got this post, having fun and recreation in Florida, test O. And you can see that all the text is in Latin, but you can see it's a little all jammed together and it's a little harder to read, even if it was in English. So I'm going to scroll up and show you the exact same post. We have some, some divisions here all about Miami and learn about fishing there and some things. It's still a little hard to read because there's just so much text there. People don't really like to read on the Internet. They just like to skim. And so let me scroll to the top of this article. And this is the exact same article, Fun and Recreation in Florida, My Favorite Ways to Have Fun. And you can see as I scroll down by putting in those, this is an H2 tag there, H2 tag here. By putting in those H2 tags, another one right there, going to the best beaches in Florida, uh, it makes things easier to read. Now, this all about Daytona, um, these are H3 tags. And I could have centered them if I wanted to. I'm just trying to let you know that every time you use an H2 or H3 or H1 tag, it doesn't have to be centered if you don't want to. Okay, now I'm going to click here. And this is going to take us to the dashboard of the demonstration blog. And I'm going to show you how to add the proper way to add the H2 and the H3 tags. Now, here you can see in the Florida test fun and recreation test one because I put it into the title of the blog post when I'm using the thesis theme it automatically puts h1 tags around it you don't see that here you'd have to look in the source code if you're using another theme you should write the developer and find out if the theme automatically puts h1 tags around the title of the blog post or you can just look in the source code of the web page, the blog page, and see. And there are different tools you can use to look at the source code. And I'll explain that more in my blog post that will accompany this video. OK, so let's scroll down here. And we have my favorite ways to have fun in Florida. This is in the HTML. I'm going to go to Visual. OK, there's the visual. Go to HTML, and you can see there are no tags around this section right here. I'm going to go to visual. I'm going to highlight this whole section here. Then right where it says paragraph, I'm going to go down. I'm going to do H2, heading 2. By the way, you only want to use one H1 tag per blog post. But you can use as many H2 tags as you'd like suggested would be between two and five. You shouldn't need more than that. Um, so I've already added the H2 tag. So let's just go here. And you can see it's surrounded by H2 tags right there. OK. Now what I'm going to do, go back into visual mode. I'm going to highlight this again. And I'm going to center it. Just click on this, align center, just like you would do in Word, uh, Microsoft Word. And then it's centered. It's as simple as that. It's an H2 tag. To see what it looks like in HTML, click up here. And you can st see we still have the H2 tags here, but it added a little bit of CSS code to align it to the center. To simplify things, I'm going to go back to visual. I'm going to scroll down and learn about water skiing. Once again, H2. 
click here to center, click on the white space to deselect, and we're going to make this an H2, and I'm going to show you how to add an H3 in a second. H2 tag right there, heading to tag, click here to center. Now this, I'm going to make an H3 tag. So scroll down here, that's H3. If I want to center it, I click up here. I don't want to center it, so I just put it back there and it aligns it to the left again. Same thing, all about Miami Beach. Go down here, H3 tag, and all about Juno Beach, which is right next to Jupiter. Go down here, we're going to scroll down, we're going to pick H3. If you wanted to do, now, let me just update that. Okay, we're going to go back to the demonstration blog, and this is test two. We just changed test one. So fun and recreation in Florida test one, you can see that none of this stuff is highlighted, so I'm going to hit the refresh button. Okay, and it looks beautiful now. It's really easy to read. Uh, something you might want to do is you've got keywords, which for me would be recreation in Florida and the H1 tag. This is the title of the blog post. And the H2 tags, you can still use some of the keywords like Florida or fun and then add some other keywords in there if you like. Make it easy to read and that helps out your search engine optimization going to the best beaches in Florida. I guess I forgot to put an H2 tag there. No big deal. You can just go back and do that. And these are the H3 tags. So H3 would be like subcategories. You can see this is an H2 beaches and these are all three different beaches. You can do the same thing if you need to use H4, H5, H6. And it's about as simple as that. Using H2 tags makes your blog posts easier to read. It helps in the search engines because text that is in between H2 tags carries more weight. So when the Google robots, the Google crawlers, are crawling your blog post, they're going to add more emphasis and more weight to any words and keywords found in between H2 tags, H1 tags, H3 tags. So you want to kind of use keywords there without stuffing them with keywords and still make it natural and easy to read. And that's basically all there is to it. If you liked it, please click 